Green Bay Packers select Josh Myers, center, Ohio State. Hey everybody, Packers GM Brian Gutekunst joins us now. And Brian, second round, you select a center, Josh Myers from Ohio State. What did you like about Josh? Obviously, you know, two-year starter at Ohio State, captain there. Um, obviously, that's a, a powerhouse program, so he's been, he's been trained the way they do things there. He's, he's, he's been raised the right way in football. Um, he, he makes all the calls there. He's very, very smart. He's got great size, really good athlete, plays with power. Um, he's just a really good fit, not only on our football team and on the field, but in our locker room as well. 6 5 three, ten. And when Josh puts his body on people, stuff happens. Would you agree with that? No doubt. He's able to move guys, and you know, obviously in, in, in the scheme that we run here, you also have to be able to move and get in front of guys. And he's able to do both. And I think also just you know, at that center position, which he has the ability to play, um, there's such a, a cerebral awareness you have to have, and, and he has it. He's also, or he looks to be, well-schooled in the techniques he'll need on this level. He's done them before. Yeah, and again, it, that goes back to Ohio State and his coaching there. They have a great group of coaches. And when you're at a place like Ohio State, you know, everybody you're going up against in practice is, are NFL-type prospects. And uh, so certainly he's had kind of, he's been able to weather that storm and, and grow as a player. And I think, uh, I think he'll be ready for the National Football League. Third round, you traded up to select Amari Rogers, wide receiver. Your thoughts on him? Yeah, really versatile player that does a lot of things. He fits a lot into a lot of roles that we're looking for. Not only the slot receiver kind of role, but um, you know Matt likes to do a lot of different things, moving guys around, jet sweep screens. Uh, he's a punt returner. He has done kick returns as well. Um, he's a son of a coach. Uh, he's, he's a very polished route runner, and um, he's just going to be able to do a lot of things for our football team. He is not tall but he is not a small player either. Yeah, no, not at all, 212 pounds. And I think that's one of the things that, that drew us to him was his ability to break tackles, finish, stay on the field, be durable. Um, he just has a lot of those kind of intangible traits that you're looking for in a football player. Different body type than what we're used to seeing in your wide receivers. However, he also brings a different dimension to the game. Does he not? Yeah. He's got a little bit of running back in him when he's got the ball in his hands. Um, and I think, again, his, his awareness, um, just from playing as much football he had, he's, he's been around with his dad, I think he's just um, a little more polished maybe than some guys coming out, of, coming out of college. So much of the return game is about the returner. Does he bring a lot to the party in that regard? He does. He's a, as a punt returner, which is a, a tough thing to do up here in Lambeau, he has you know, excellent ability to track and field the ball. Um, again, he's, he's not your typical returner. He's a bigger man. So I think, you know, whether it's as a punt returner and being able to break tackles or even as a kick returner, he has that ability. All right, just between us, Brian, who are you taking tomorrow? <laughs> uh, you know what? It, we'll, we'll see. But I know this. we got five picks tomorrow, um, and uh, we're excited to get to it and, and see if we can help the team. Thank you, Brian. Good luck with that. And thank you for watching. Keep it right here on Packers.com for the latest on the Packers draft.